Hello there and welcome to the first Bow Beats video of 2020 and what's not a better way to kick off the year than with a classic unboxing and first look. So I have a new box, a new synth, let's open it up and test it out. And it's the Modal Argon 8 that I have with me here today. I also want to welcome you to my new studio both for music and YouTube. Yeah, I hope you like the setup. I've been working hard to make it work for different kind of shots and angles and yeah, hopefully hopefully you'll um, you'll enjoy it in the videos to come. So let's open her up here. We got a little quick start guide here. It's actually pretty heavy. Oh, nice. The keys actually feel really good. They're they're pretty heavy. Overall, this is some really impressive build quality, actually. Um, I reviewed the Craft Synth, for example, a while back, and I've also tested their Sculpt, and this is a totally different beast in, in terms of build quality, in terms of just like, it's super hefty. It's, yeah, super sturdy. So let's listen to what it sounds like. And yeah, this is an eight voice wavetable based synthesizer. So that was pretty nice. Um, we have a nice graphical representation here. Of what's going on. So let's find another little sound here. I've seen a lot of comments around that it sounds a bit like a craft synth, but I think, yeah, if you do like a mono sound, there's definite similarities, but yeah, these polyphonic sounds here, they are just beautiful. Wow, <laughs> what's, what's going on here? What's going on here with the animator? Like this piano here is very subtle, very different from the craft synth or the sculpt. Like it has this character. 
connector to the sound. Pretty nice, kind of gets a more aggressive with higher velocities. That's nice, very nice. Now this is just the first look on the Argon 8, but yeah, we need to see if I can create a sound from scratch. I mean, a Bow Beats video without that wouldn't be much, so let's try and initialize something and create a sound really quickly. There's actually a lot of sounds in here. So since I've used their products before, I do speak a bit of modal, but it's still going to be a bit of a challenge. So I mix together two waves and spreading them out. Let's add some voice width. So did for a little bit more of a complex waves, you have different banks of waves. It's very similar to say something like Craft Synth or the Sculpt. So I added some distortion and I played with the filter and I played with the filter envelope. Let's do amp envelope. Uh, let's have some effects. Uh, effects one. Nice, we have this lo fi effect. And of course, we need some kind of delay. And of course, we need some kind of big reverb here. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I have these three buttons here to select effects, and then I have these three knobs corresponding to different uh, settings. And I can also do shift to get access to even more settings for that three effects. So this is what I've got so far. We of course have a mod DG that we can use, uh, and there's also of course LFOs. Um, so let's see here, hmm, wait, oh, I hit the LFO, um, can I do filter cutoff, okay. Can I do it to resonance? Seems like it. Yep. That was actually dead easy. That was super easy. Just just hit LFO, select whatever you want to affect and, and, and there we go. I dare say this far that this is the most user-friendly model that I've used so far. I used the craft synth and the sculpt and I really like the actually the, the design of them but I know some people think that it's a little bit complicated with the way that everything is set up. So this is a much more 
this is a much more clean layout, uh, easier to understand what's going on. So, so far so good. I mean, I haven't even, I think I looked at this piece of paper here twice, but so far it's pretty simple to do stuff. Just the fact that we have these buttons here that lets us access, for example, the aftertouch. So let's say I want to assign the aftertouch here to the cutoff. Um, it's very easy to do straight from the interface. I think that's really cool. So this was the first unboxing of 2020, the Argon 8, a little first look, playing some sounds. It's it's actually, it's definitely the modal synth that I have here that I enjoy the most. I think it's well worth checking out if you're into getting something digital, something affordable. My spontaneous first thoughts is that they've taken a lot of what I enjoyed with the craft synth, with the sculpt, and just kind of put it into a much more solid, very nice feeling enclosure, nice full-sized keys. It's just a very nice synthesizer from, from just playing on it. The knobs, some people know that I didn't much like the knobs of the craft synth in particular. Um, this is definitely uh, an big improvement on this synth here, feels much better. And yeah, overall, very nice first impression. So yeah, first little look here, first unboxing of 2020. As you no doubt know, there will be a lot more videos. I I've had pretty bad health over Christmas, lung problems and shit. So yeah, that's been kind of rough. But yeah, I'm looking forward to making more content for you all. And I hope to see you in future videos. Have a great day. Talk to you later.